Welcome to a deeper look at the technique of Ben Hogan from down here, the Golf Tech Studio in Hemsworth. On the last video I talked about how Hogan had developed a technique to get rid of the left hand side of the course. He'd been plagued with a hook early in his career and it cost him a few tournament victories. Now if you look at this clip here it shows a really good illustration of what Hogan did to stop the ball going left. It's what I like to call disappearing hands. As Hogan swings down through and into impact what you'll see is that the handle goes left. His hips are opening up and the handle is going into the space vacated by the, uh, by the hips. What that means is that as you feel that the handle is going left, your brain processes this as moving left and therefore won't allow you to roll that club face over. If you did, you'd have a left going left, but by moving the handle quicker to the left, it's very easy to stabilise that club face. I'm going to have a go at this. I'm not as flexible, I'm probably not as strong either, but we're going to have a go to see if we can create disappearing hands. I've got 182 yards on a par three, flags off to the right, but I'm going to aim for the middle of the green and hopefully the disappearing hands create a ball flight that just fades slightly to the right. What Hogan was brilliant at being able to do, more so than myself obviously, was the ability to get the club behind him on the way down but still make it go behind him on the way through. What I do a little bit and what a lot of players do is that we get the club working steeper and more out in front. Having said that, the disappearing hands have created a great shot there for me. 